this as well so I'll just copy that in there redefine those and I should be able to take a look at the clamp now there and you can see I now have L and W and X and Y in there and now what I need to do is I actually need to uh, set it up so that they're um, hooked up to the length and width parameters of the actual uh, rectangle so again let's go back to here and we're just going to get just select both in here push this over so we can see it a bit better and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab the rectangle object and if I want to go and copy the controller off here you notice copy is actually grayed out it's because there's no controller currently on the length and width it uh, would be added automatically if we animated it or we can just go into assign controller on both of them say Bezier float so now they both have controllers I can say copy so length paste instance copy paste instance and now I have instanced uh, values for those as well so now all I need to do is just go into and do the same thing I just uh, just need to update this piece of code with uh, the W values and W value values actually have to be um, divided by two for all intents and purposes because W value currently right now or the the length and width values are uh, 10 and 10 um, we need really 5 and 5 because we're going to replace this, this value here. So what we're going to do is say L equals um, this dot L divide by 2. And the exact same thing for W. And I'm just going to say W and W. and now those that actually return the length and width of this divided by 2 let's just test it by saying print L and you can see it's reading uh, 2.45 let's actually set it back to a known value something correct and we can see it returns 5 so it's actually returning the existing values that we need and so I'm going to uh, and replace for the width I'm going to re, uh, replace um, all the X values because that's side to side so I'm going to say uh, not X values sorry five values I, I just did the wrong one there width and width and width and width evaluate make sure it works and what I should have actually have now which is kind of cool is if I go in and set this up and then decide to change the uh, width of it you can see as I pull it down it's actually pulling the circle in with it it won't allow it to go outside of it so I can even change it up to a completely new value now and it'll always reach that edge and not go any further same thing now with the uh, Y anytime it says 5 in the Y I'm gonna stick an L instead L may have been a bad choice because it kinda looks like a 1 um, but it's actually not I wish that uh, MaxScript used a different font or something and now same thing it doesn't go any higher and if we actually change it and pull it down you can actually see that I can completely adjust where it is just by adjusting this which is nice now because now we can take this simple square shape control object that's controlling it in this fashion and we can actually lock it out uh, to maybe a narrow up and down one just by taking it down to you know uh, 0 0.01 and have this control that only just goes up and down and now it'll actually only go up and down, won't travel side to side a whole lot, and just hook up to the uh, Y axis to this. So this control object now, we can simply wire or expression or anything we need, reaction managers, up to the X and Y position values of this control object, and it'll now control it. For the last touch to make it uh, just sort of a little bit more usable, we're just going to take uh, a text object and we can name it whatever we name it for whatever part of the character it's going to need to be named for and again we can just simply parent that up to the control and then it's essentially the uh, the basis of, of setting up a control what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, script this control uh, so that we can build these quickly 
You know what's nice, though, still about 